All right, so today uh, we're going to make a different kind of pastry, okay? Uh, before we made a thing called rough puff pastry. Um, and it's kind of like a pie sheet, basically. Uh, and it has lots of layers in it, okay? It's really, really fine. Today we're going to make something called short crust pastry, okay? Short crust pastry. And short crust pastry is the kind of pastry you have in a tart. In Japan, there's like a taruto, okay? If you have a taruto or a tart, uh, it'll be the kind of pastry that's at the bottom of the tart, okay? And you can either make a sweet one or you can make like a main course version one, okay? Uh, but today we're going to make a sweet one, okay? All right, so let's go over the ingredients first. Okay, so the ingredients are 55 grams of butter, 38 grams of sugar, 110 grams of flour, half a teaspoon of salt. Yes, you do need salt, even though it's a sweet dish, okay? You still need salt in it. One third of an egg, one third. All right, one other ingredient that is good to have when you are making uh, pastry, especially, okay, is cold hands. And my hands are very hot, but today, very luckily, it's snowing outside and I was playing in the snow, so my hands are now cold. So that's very good for when you're making pastry, okay? Cold hands, cold hands. Look, it's snowing. All right, so um, in here we have the butter, the flour, uh, the sugar, and the salt, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our hands and we're gonna rub the butter and the flour together, okay? But uh, you have to gently, you don't wanna squeeze it, okay? Don't squeeze it, you wanna rub it, okay? And basically, when you've finished, uh, you should end up with something that looks like Parmesan cheese, okay? It should look like uh, cheese, like shaky cheese kind of thing, okay? All right, so uh, I'm gonna do this. Let's fast forward our way through this, but I'll show you what it looks like at the end, okay? This is what it looks like now. That's what it looks like now, okay? Uh, everything's all apart, and we're gonna rub it like this. We're gonna go like this, okay? We're gonna rub it, rub it, rub it, and uh, it should go into like how the cheese comes in, okay? All right, let's go. If it makes the time pass quicker, you can sing a song. Okay, we're finished. Okay, so if you want to know how long it takes to do this, uh, it takes about one twinkle twinkle, uh, one old McDonald, and about half a bingo. Okay, and you should be finished by doing this. Okay, and I'm going to show you what this looks like now. Okay, this looks like oh, it's like cheese. It really does look like um, powdered cheese. Hang on. It's all like um, the butter and the flour has gone together, and it kind of looks like powdered cheese. Look at that. Okay. That's perfect. Well, <laughs> I would say that, but um, that's that's what you want it to look like, like this. Okay, look. Okay, so don't don't squeeze it. Don't squeeze it. You want to rub it like this. Look, rub, rub, rub. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put the egg in now. All right. Okay. So uh, the next thing you want to get the uh, egg. Okay. Uh, mix up your egg. Okay, you want to put one third, okay? So, one third is about... 
that much, okay? So put a little bit in, okay? And then take your fork and start to mix it like this. Okay, I'm gonna show you this as well. Okay, so you wanna take it, you wanna put the egg in, and then you wanna start to mix it, okay? And what'll happen is, you mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix, 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 mix. Okay. And if you keep mixing it, it'll start to come together. Okay, but if you mix it, if you mix it, and there's still lots and lots of dry, dry kind of uh, powder, like white powder, like flour, okay, you want to put a little bit more egg inside it, okay? You want to put a little bit more egg into it. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Yeah, we probably need a little bit more egg, okay? A little bit more. So I'm gonna put a little bit more egg in, and then we'll see what it looks like again. And then keep mixing it. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now, most of the white kind of powdery stuff is gone. Okay, so we should be able to make this into a ball. Okay, so we're going to make this into a ball with our hands. Okay, so next we're going to use our hands. Okay, all right. So just like before, use your hands, and this time you don't have to rub all the time. You can you can squeeze it now. Okay, because what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring everything into a ball. Okay. And it won't seem like it at first, but after you do this for a little bit, everything will start to stick together. And it'll be like a big ball of uh, Play-Doh or plasticine or clay or mud or snow. It's like a snowball. Please wrap it in some salad wrap and please put it in the fridge, okay? Not the freezer, the fridge, okay? You want it cold, cold, but you don't want it frozen, okay? So please put it in the fridge. Okay, so that is how you make short crust pastry, okay? You can use this for tarts, as I said, tarot, okay, tarts. Uh, you can use this for what we're gonna make later, uh, which is called an apple tart tatan, okay? Uh, you can also make main courses with it. So you can put this on a pie, okay? You can make a pie with this, apple pie, any pies, okay? All right, um, thank you very much. So uh, I'm gonna continue the recipe in a minute, all right? See you all again soon, bye bye. Watch your fingers here, Vicky. It's not a race. Can you go and get a spoon or something or just give it a quick mix or something? Okay, um, you guys are going to have to hurry up. Cause